And then, when everything is over, I will finish an article which is destined to be destroyed. But I kill myself with those thoughts in me, so I can at least present it to my grandfather. He won't be happy even if I did that. On the contrary, he'll be disappointed in me throwing a research he spent half of his life on down the drain. How do you know? How do, how do you know he doesn't want this? Oh, that's right, because he's crazy. Sorry, Takano, but your grandfather wasn't exactly a sane person. He won't embrace me, I know that for sure. I wanted to announce about the Inamizawa Syndrome to the world. I wanted the world to acknowledge my grandfather's great work. Again, you can, you can ask for like a little footnote in an accomplishment. Footnote. Eradicated this disease. Like I would ask him to do that. That would be my caveat for it. Instead of bearing everything, hey, can we say eradicated this disease? Like in just like some document. And that this is what the research like accomplished. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Don't say how it works and nothing about it. Eradicated this disease. That affected 2,000 people in the population. Something along those lines. I wanted to carve his name in history and promote him into a, a god. Hmm. No. My grandfather waited and believed that day would come. And he must be still waiting patiently for that day to come, even after entering eternal sleep. But I ruined it. Not really. This was destined to happen because it's a dead-end research. I wanted him to become a god. I was going to become a god myself, too. Yes, we know you have a god complex. Then we will live, we'll be together forever, and I'll never have to be alone. If I become a god, a god won't test me. There won't be any unhappiness or a sudden train accident. God, I wish a fucking train accident, a train hit her. No, I don't, because that would be a quick death. I want her to fucking suffer. My grandfather won't go away, nor will father poison me. I'll never have to go back to being alone. I am alone. Good. Fuck off. I have no ally. Good. I was just dancing in ecstasy, ecstasy on a stage without anybody watching me. When I realized there are no applauses, only ridicules. No, it's doubtful that there was actually anyone else there in the first place. My parents died, my grandfather died, and then Qu Father Koizumi died. A god played around with me with his die for three times. I thought I overcame each time with my own strength, but I didn't. I protected my next guardian each time. And I was protected by my guardian each time. And this time I have no guardians who would protect me. When I first arrived in Himamizawa, I had every intention of challenging God and kicking him off his throne. Except Hanyu said, get the fuck out of here. And said, no, you can't offer that coin. But now forget challenging God. I'm just a loser playing, being played around. All of a sudden, I don't care about anything. Because if I cared about anything, I would be allowed, swallowed by sadness. I soak my heart in alcohol, so I don't have to care about anything. I wish this is how the series ended. This would be happy. She just goes into a spiraling depression. Hopefully gets, like, hit by the car. Like, a car doesn't die. She suffers for a long time. Because she deserves it because she's killed 2,000 people. God knows how many times this thing has actually been repeating. Because it's far more than just seven. She's killed 2,000 people, ordered the death of 2,000 people, ordered the death of Rika's mother and her father every single year. So fuck her. She deserves whatever comes to her. Hopefully a painful, painful future. I can only hope. A luxur luxurious black car stops next to me suddenly. I become sober immediately because that reminds me of the time when I was captured after escaping from the orphanage. A suspicious looking suspicious looking men in black suits and sunglasses get out from the car. I think instantly. They must be sent from one of my client masterminds. Being involved in development of a biological weapon and being the main person responsible for it, and on top of that I'm mentally unstable. They obviously don't want me walking around freely. You are mentally unstable. You're fucking crazy. I thought. 
They are going to abduct me, weld me into a concrete block, and erase my existence. Hmm. I hope. I wish. I bet they're going to gra grab me and shove me into the car. But surprisingly, they bow deeply towards me. Are you vice administer of the IRA institution, Major Tonkano Mio? Normally, I guess. But I'm just a drunk loser now. There's someone who would like to meet you. Could you please come along with us? Even if I refuse, you're going to take me, right? I'll be killed anyway. I can't make my grandfather's wish come true if I live. Even if I live. I say with citizen cynicism. Then the person in the back seat says, We won't force you, but I'm sure we can help. I've never met this young woman. She's probably my age, I think. She knows about the ERA institution, so she must be somehow connected to my client. She's too young to be a client herself. I bet a client who doesn't want to come out sent her. Even if I live, I can't take my grandfather... I can't make my grandfather a god. I can't be, be a god either. Myself either. Who cares about what this loser... Where, where this loser gets killed anyway? I make up my mind and get into the back seat. As soon as I get in, the luxurious car starts smoothly. Silence fills the car for a while. They want the ones who invited me. I don't have anything to say. Long time to see. I'm sure you don't remember. I passed by you at the funeral of Koizumi. Oh, you did? Sorry, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. The fuck? Yeah, I was a little more absorbed in the other things going on than remembering you. There were so many people at the funeral. I don't remember anyone. Why is she greeting me that way? Does she mean she is with the Koizumi faction? Koizumi must have been active as an active as an opinion leader in the recovery of post-war Japan. To talk about today's peaceful Japan, we must mention Koizumi's accomplishments. Hmm. When we were rebuilding this the country from the post-war barren fields, the willing ones of our nation were no monolithic. But unfortunately, the same thing can be said can't be said now. The peaceful time continued, and a generation who knows nothing about the barren fields start to enter the care core of the nation, and the number of those, uh, and the number of those who knows about such noble wills dis decreases. As the final elder of those noble comrades, Koizumi was the center support who has guided us to the 21st century. After his death, Ko the Koizumi faction faltered quickly. In exchange, other factions are extending their influence, and things are me a mess, right? I heard about these things from Jiro. But there, this is no different from the Civil War period. When a lord or a military leader dies, competition to become a successor takes place, bringing chaos to the country. This country hasn't changed for hundreds of years. Exactly. Unfortunately, although peaceful Japan has managed to build itself a comfortable co comfortable country to live in, at the same time it has forgotten noble wills at its beginning. Various factions are fighting in Tokyo over the seat and power left behind by Koizumi right now. If Koizumi and all the deceased servicemen find out about this, they'll be disappointed. What does that have to do with me? Aren't you the biggest victim? You have experienced plenty of sudden change in the wind directions, haven't you? Is it true that this research began because of Koizumi's support? It is all. It is true. Also true that in that it is also true that con contacts from the anti-Koizumi faction have been cold and intense. Maybe for them, every project Koizumi left behind must be an eyesore, more than the actual contents of the research. In other words, they don't, didn't simply reject the contents of the research. Come to think of it, something like this happened to my grandfather, too. Koizumi brought various authorities in the field. They talked down to my grandfather, despite all the praise from earlier. Koizumi told me that the pressure from the masterminds caused that. The research of the Hinomizawa Syndrome is the biggest among the alphabet project. It's not too much to say it is the project's number one leader in terms of funding. 
organization, and everything else. Therefore, your research has been made a scapegoat by those who want to monopolize the entrance of the interest of the alphabet project. A scapegoat. Uh, what I want to, to tell you is that the research of the Hinamizo syndrome isn't what we was denied. The faction of the project is important to them, nah, not its content. I wanted to tell you that today. In the end, it's not just a sacrif sacrifice goat put up for everyone to see, huh? It doesn't matter what I research. The only thing they cared about was that this research belonged to the Koizumi faction. That's correct. The faction is the wind direction. Sometimes it's a tailwind and sometimes it's a headwind. Unfortunately, once a direction changes, it's extremely difficult to bring it back. Are you saying it's going... It's extremely difficult to bring back my clients who are against me now. That's correct. The Alphabet Project has been taken over completely. All of the directors have been replaced, and they're only interested in fulfilling their own desires. They have no intention of listening to your explanation from the beginning. I grasped onto my knees and remember the humili humiliating day. Let me change the subject for now. What is the objective of the research to you, Takano? Huh? It has to fulfill my intellectual curiosity. Fuck off, no it's not. Isn't it the promise you made with the late Takano, who looked up to you as a, your grandfather? I'm startled. Koizumi once told me that this fact could have be, become a hindrance, so I've never told my clients about that. How did she find out? If they know that, maybe they know a lot more about us than, they, than I think. Where did you hear that? Koizumi told me. Eh, yeah, fucking bastard. What? We're not your enemies. Please relax. We are here to help you. I don't know who she really is, but I know she's here because she wants something from me. What does she want? She knows about the relationship between my grandfather and me, so I can't be careless. But in order for us to help you, we have to have you tell us the truth. In other words, we want you to be honest. I don't know what you're trying to say. What is your true purpose of the research of the Hinomizawa Syndrome? To have my grandfather's great work acknowledged and have to have to become have him become a god. Hmm. Isn't it to have the world acknowledge late Dr. Takano's research? And to get a revenge against those who trampled and looked down on the articles your grandfather wrote with all his heart? I'm at my limit and trying not to show my shock on my face. Just assume he told her everything you've told her him. That's just fuck off, Takano. It's not that hard. He probably told her everything. How much does this woman know about me? So, who is this woman anyway? Does she know everything I'm thinking? Well, I can't admit that out loud. That's dignity. But while an angelic smile appears on this elegant woman, she smiles in, uh, in devilish whisper, Dawn even more uh, skillfully than me. A simple smile and a simple... A smile and devilish whisper are completely different. A simple smile means goodwill, but a smile and devilish whis whisper is, means the complete opposite. This woman can read my deepest thoughts, and while doing so, she's testing me to see how honest I can be. Whether I speak the truth or not isn't the issue here. She's testing me to see if I can show enough trust to confess everything. If what I'm saying is a complete misunderstanding, please forgive me. We'll take you to the nearest train station. Would you be? Would it be Gokura Station? Uh, but if what I'm saying is somewhere close to what you're feeling, I think we can help each other. What do you think, Takano Mio? I can't say anything in reply, but I think this, silent mean, this silence means an answer. Because I want to hear what she wants from me. I've always made my objective a vague one. With that abstract expression, such as turning my grandfather into a god. But she has taught me that my true objective is. What my true objective is. My objective is the revenge against my grandfather's regret. I want those, to, those people to fight over and read the articles once laughed at and trampled on. I want them to believe and worship every single word my grand my father grandfather left behind. 
That, that is my true objective. This woman has repeated that out loud, which I have only whispered within myself. She even asked me if that was correct. Is this woman an angel or a devil? If I'm a human, is she something above that? Your misfortune is that you don't understand your, your objective. That's why you couldn't achieve anything. You set an abstract goal like uncovering the mysteries of the Hinomizawa Syndrome that you can't couldn't be achieved, so you couldn't help but question your own life. Isn't that right? <laughs> That's wrong. Your true objective is a dream that isn't that a, isn't that a, abstract. Can you imagine? Imagine this scene. The true top leaders of this nation are reading your grandfather's article while being shocked at its contents. They believed all, all of it, without even a hint of doubt. Those people humbly, humbly read the article with the footprints on the back. They expressed their respect at the insightfulness of the research and tremble in fear. What do you think? Were you, were you able to imagine? This is my first time imagining something like this. This has been my dream. Your grandfather is the one who created the name Hinamizawa Syndrome, right? It will echo to every corner of the na this nation, and the name your father created will be carved eternally. Will be carved eternally. That's right. That means raising your grandfather's great work into an eternal existence. <laughs> Isn't that the dream you devoted your whole life to? <laughs> My grandfather's great work will remain carved eternally. It will remain eternally. Yet... Those pigs who can't un couldn't understand turn your dream into a sacrifice simply because of the faction complex and scramble out of interests. They're even trying to trample it on, on into the ground, just like how they kept trampling your grandfather's article. See? <laughs> You're full of regret. The data you've worked so hard for. That's right. They're the same as the article your grandfather did his best to create. You can't forgive the people who laughed at. You can't forget those pigs who can't ridiculed your grandfather's great work, right? Isn't that right? I know it is. But you didn't think about that because you're so kind and didn't want no any words to condemn people. See? An indescribable, indescribable emotion fills me. I feel like I'm suffocating. God, this person's gonna end up saying she needs to kill the entire village. The feeling of being cautious and at peace and trust and mistrust are all mixed together. My heart is pumping and my fingertips are trembling. Why am I at peace? Is it because she reminded me of my true dream and I needed I couldn't express with my own words until now? Also, is it because she made me aware of the anger within myself? Why do I feel doubt? Is it because she reminded me of things I've never told my anyone until now? No, those are the things I've never even told myself. Mio, if what I'm saying isn't wrong, but actually completely correct, I know I can help you with your dream and revenge. Huh. Huh. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Is that the case? I sh shouldn't keep you. We'll take you to the nearest station. N no. A small voice leaks out from my mouth pathetically. It's like a small child apologizing for a prank. Did you say something? <laughs> I know she heard me. The woman smiles and tries to make me say it again. No. I'm feeling fine. <laughs> I'm glad. Let's continue. If that is in fact my dream, what can you do? I'll help you with your two revenges. One is to revenge your grandfather. We will make those people who ridiculed your grandfather's article take it into their hands humbly once again. The one they trampled on. The other is the revenge against the board of directors for trampling over the syndrome research, which is an emotional connection to your promise with your grandfather, simply because of the faction conflicts. It's a revenge against the filthy pigs who tried to trample not only on your articles, but on your life as well. A revenge against the board of directors, and have them read my grandfather's article? We'll be honest with you, too. We're helping you because our interests are the same. We can't allow the project that Koizumi established for the sake of Japan's future be eaten up by the low lives after his death. If we had more power, we wouldn't have allowed those these low lives to become involved. 
However, the wind direction changed, and the project will no longer return to Koizumi's ideal. It has become a pigsty to satisfy their own desires. Koizumi, who gave the name Alphabet Project, would not have wished for the project to remain this way. The project should have folded up with the when it deviated from Koizumi's ideals. Are you trying to make the sacrificial sacrifice sheep of the faction conflicts into a wolf now? If you choose to keep your grandfather's heart article hidden away in your heart, then I won't force you. No, I won't let that happen. I don't mind falling onto the ground myself. But at least my grandfather. My grandfather's article. Don't you want to t make the article that's a materialization of you and your grandfather's lives into something eternal? <laughs> because that's your dream, right? That's right. That is my purpose to live. We'll give you a chance to make your dream come true. On that, on the night I admitted myself as a loser in life and drowned myself in tears and alcohol after being absorbed, abandoned by everything, I met someone who could be an angel or a devil. Is it assistance from heaven or whispers of a devil? I fought with the board of directors regarding the continuation of the research, but that was completely off target. That wasn't my true objective. My objective isn't to continue the research of the Hinomizawa Syndrome. It is to have the world acknowledge my grandfather's research. Somehow the method to achieve that swap places with my objective and caused me to misunderstand myself. Yeah, God forbid can research it. My life doesn't exist to continue my father, grandfather's research. It exists to re relive, relieve my grandfather's regret for the sake of revenge. The woman is saying... She promises to make my grandfather's research an eternal one. And she also promises to cha a chance to take revenge against those who laughed at it. When Father Koizumi died, I thought God was playing around with me with this, day with this die. But my strong will gathered the power that's more powerful than a die. So maybe this meeting was the re with a reason. Damn it, God, you're testing me again with your die. I will overcome the death of Father Koizumi. And I will let my grandfather become an eternal essence, existence, and I will revenge the god who tested me. I will, for sure. I will take revenge. God, talking is fucking insane. Ah, uh, my bar hasn't changed schools. It has to be this or that. Ryugu's family moves. And then we'll go into my bar, and then we'll go into... God, is that the last one? And, oh, that would be amazing. I don't know what to do. My name is my bar Ichiro, and I am hopelessly lost. I came to Hinomi's on a tour to find a, a lot to build a vacation home. When the realtor finished explaining some details, he told us to take a walk until the departure time. Such beautiful scenery and fresh air. I let my senses guide me, and here I am. Where am I? I still have a little time before the departure time, but I am completely lost. This is basically the middle of nowhere, but people actually live here. If I keep walking, I should run into someone. Then I can ask for directions. Don't worry. <laughs> the only thing to keep in mind is the departure time for the bullet train. But as more time passes, I start to think I was being too optimistic about running into someone. Because I don't see anyone. Maybe I'm walking farther and farther away from where people are, in which case I'm in serious trouble. So when I hear someone's voice, I feel immense, immensely relieved. It sounds like little girls are playing. If it's a place for little kids to play, it must be a safe place. I follow the voices. When I go around the wind, pompas... A uh, grass put, bush, bush. I see a beautiful field. I see two girls playing. Two girls are dancing in the field filled with blooming wildflowers. What I'm seeing is more beautiful than all the art, great artworks I've ever seen. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but this looks holier than any religious artworks. Oh yeah, uh, his father did talk about that. They met two uh, girls. Why is that seeing innocent girls dance like this makes people feel like this? It's probably because we are sinners. We can't live just uh, with just pleasure and glory. 
we sin as we live. That's why we feel awed at the sight of innocence. It reminds us of the time when we were pure. We grow up naturally, and we lose innocence as we grow up. And we admire and adore the children who symbolize that innocence. Yeah, that's kind of true. Me. There's a suspicious person who's m mumbling some weird stuff. Oh, well, hell. Rika, that's not a suspicious person. Huh? Wow. Oh, so sorry. What the fu- She still has a, f a fucking physical form? What the hell? Still, no one's questioning she has horns. I mean, uh, that's not innocent to me, just saying. I'm not suspicious. <laughs> but you've been staring at my boobs and legs. Nipa. Fuck off, Rika. N no, 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 I'm not. Don't turn me in because I really wasn't staring. I was using this mirror to fix my hair. God damn it. Gagey's dad is such a fucking weirdo. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but it sure sounds interesting. Like father, like son. The girls tease me for a while, and then they get tired of doing that. They go back to dancing. I realize whatever I say will backfire. So I decide to leave them alone and sit down to watch them. That's even weirder. I wonder how old they are. They seem rather young, but maybe they are around Keiichi's age. You know, just a few years younger. If we move here, Keiichi may meet them at school. If he does meet at school, that means they will live here. If all the children in Hinami's old school are like them, then even, a, then even if living a rural life may have some challenges, there is a good reason for us to move here. We are bad parents. We didn't understand what Keiichi was going through and left him alone until the very end. According to the parenting book, the first few problems are signals for help. It's not the actions themselves, it's the motivation to do such actions, which are an emotional appeal from a child who wants to communicate with his parents. Humans can speak, and that's one of the reasons we don't, why we don't notice such signals. We want such signs. We can only hear words through our ears, and we can't sense signs coming from our son's heart. Keiichi probably thinks it's his, it's his entire fault. Of course he is at fault too. Humans aren't dogs or cats. We should know what's right and what's wrong. But it's our fault to his parents. To let him think that he had to go through that far. To go that far for us to be able to understand him. That's really sad and disgusting. If we had understood him and hadn't cornered him. Keiji wouldn't have done that. It's okay. <laughs>